Hey guys, uh, Hobby Doing 1000 here doing a, another layout update. Um, today, this layout update, um, I've been gone for like the past two weeks and um, I haven't really done anything at all in the layout since the last update, but I have picked up quite a few new things. Um, so we'll go ahead and check that out. Now, in the, my last video, you saw it was a quick DCC install in this uh, Atherin ready to roll. C44-9W uh, Union Pacific Pick this up at ABC Hobby Craft in Evansville, Indiana Here, let me turn this off Logo 916 Enter Let's turn the sound off That ace is a little loud, even though I have it on the, um, it's the, uh, not the loudest setting for it, but it's, uh, I think it's like the, uh, middle one. The loudest, I had it on the loudest one, and it sounded like it, it was, there was a few points, um, where the speaker was, it sounded like I was blowing the speaker, and, I mean, right now, that sound, that, um, volume of sound is fine, fine with me, uh, because really I'm the only one that, uh, listens to it, but, um, anyways, back over to this engine. Picked it up for like ninety nine dollars. Um, if I want to one day, I'll have to add actual ditch lights in it. But uh, I need to probably replace the snowplow soon. That way, I can uh, put some MU cables on this and then a fuel line, probably just on the front, and uh, make that look all nice. And I might add some MU cables on the back. But uh, that's really all this needs. I put a Digitrax DH one two three P in here. Runs great. Um, right. Let's see, nine five seven. It's at about four speed or about five speed steps when it starts moving, but looks like it's I gotta clean this track right here. But uh Wow, that's not running very well. Anyways, uh apparently I need to clean that part, but in let's see. Alright, so at the same spot, I got, um, along with the decoder and the engine, I got one, two, three, four, five grain cars, different grain cars. I got four of them for free, and I said I pay for one. These were used, and like this one right here, this Norfolk Southern, it came with metal wheels. They all came with uh, KD or KD type couplers. I think they're, they might all be McHenry, uh, but. This one came with metal wheels, just the Norfolk Southern. And then I've been, or then I've got this North American one. Looks like a person before tried to weather it. It's, it's got really nice detail. I, I believe it might have been a kit, but it's got brake lines installed. But uh, looks like it's uh, seen some damage. And uh, I believe this guy at uh, ABC just wanted to get some of these out of out of his store. Uh, I got this stuff while visiting my grandparents up in Evansville. Or, but uh, North American, nice hopper. But uh, Then I've been wanting one of these for a while. This is an ADM uh, ACF center flow hopper, green hopper. Um, this one came with plastic wheels along with that one over there. Uh, I ended up adding metal wheels to it, and I ended up putting the trucks off of um, an actual newer Ace Athern uh, ACF center flow over there, and uh, put them on here because uh, that Rio Grande over there, I'm planning on patching it out to UP, and I won't be using it in a while. But um, I painted up the trucks, and as you can see, there's there's the um, the wheel caps for the uh, trucks or the uh, metal wheels and painted those up blue like a lot of cars are looking now today because those have had to be replaced so I'm um, just trying to modernize and then uh so nice car I also got a I got three center flows I did the same one with this this that one had the weather trucks too this one does not but it does have painted brown uh, metal wheels and I also did that with uh, some of the 
caps, if you can tell. Some, like, looks like two on this side. I didn't do it, but, uh, just trying to make it look more, a little bit more realistic. And, uh, I like how those turned out. Once again, all these couplers came with, uh, or all these cars came with KDs. And then this one over here does not have metal wheels yet. But is it's an actual ACFX hopper metal wheels, just like the other three. And uh, but this one has different hatches on it. It almost looks like my cement hoppers. So um, I don't know. I'll have to do some research. But I believe these kits might have all been Atherin blue boxes or something, because Atherin has the exact same mold, like right here, as these. But uh, BNSF, ACFX, and ADM. Got that. And then I also got over here for the distribution center, I got some cons two consolidated freight pups, pup trailers. I really like how these uh, look. I plan on making this building a consolidated freight and just having box cars come in there. But uh, really nice detail. On the back, it's even got the. Uh, hook. You can't really see it. But really nice. It's got the uh, warning labels on the side and uh, the safety striping. But got that over here and I believe I showed you this ramp and then I kit bashed this little um, um, loading uh, for the ramp it's just a little roof that comes out. I've seen a lot of buildings like this to uh, keep the goods that are coming out and the workers dry. So once you go down the ramp, uh, this, this fits these prep trailers pretty nice and then it also fits this 48 foot footer I have right here. So, looks really, this ramp does and then the uh, roof clears it. But just use some extra pipe stuff pieces, cut them out, put some trim at the top and use some roofing pieces because um, a lot of these pike stuff kits become, uh, come with a lot of extra parts so uh, got a lot, a lot of detailing going on with this uh, building so I think that is just about it that is all the new things you've seen um, still need to get a decoder for that GP 40X um, I could stick the uh, digitracks on in there because they're both quick plug equipped but